Man, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Tyrone hunting back with another edition of What's Really Good Entertainment. Um, if you've been rocking with the channel, well, I appreciate you. Thanks for the continued love and support. If you're just checking in for the first time, make sure you hit that like button on the way in the door. Hit that subscribe button on the way out the door. You see the title. You know my motto. I'm not going to hold you. Um, let's get right into it. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. So today... What we're going to be talking about is the fallout between Jay-Z and Lame Dash. I mean, Dame Dash. Excuse me. Um, the real reason for the fallout. Now, even if you wasn't around back in that time and you probably wasn't born or you was too young to understand, you know, who Jay-Z and Dame Dash was, you kind of hear about them, you know, periodically. Well, this is a true and classic tale of how a female can get between two great people. So it don't matter if you know them personally. But now when you hear Dame Dash and you hear Jay-Z and you kind of see why they moved in opposite directions, you will get a better understanding as to what caused the split and a break between Dame Dash and Jay-Z, who, founders of Rockefeller Records, they was one of the biggest dynasties in the making back then. They bring the swag to the game. These was hustlers. They came together to make it happen. But for some strange reason, a female came between what it is that they had going on. So this is a cautionary tale so that y'all understand how people could get in between greatness so again like comment share and subscribe make sure you stay to the end of the video um you know how i do it get spicy on this side but we gonna give it to you real we gonna give it to you raw so hey yo no diddy though so back to the topic at hand lane dash lane dash i mean Excuse me, Dame Dash. The one who's constantly and always on the radio, going on talk shows, going on interviews, ranting and raving about Jay-Z. Meanwhile, back at the brands, Jay-Z is a billionaire. Jay-Z living his life. Dame Dash, then you just get a judgment against you and you got to sell your shares to Rockefeller Records. So you always claiming that you the one that created Jay-Z and you could make another Jay-Z and you're the mastermind behind everything. Jay-Z's winning, you're losing. And now information is coming out like you're really a bit of baby mother. See, Dame Dash, you made the choices that you made and you got to take responsibility for that. Now, okay, while people asking, what does that have to do with anything? What I'm going to do is I'm going to play this clip. I'm going to play this video. And then I'm going to get back to it so y'all can understand what I mean. Right? Check this out. Don't nobody talk about we are going to... Because we it, it's like this been going on too long. You know? It's been going on too long. And we finally got to... You know? Listen to this. And I was like, yo, you know, tell me what happened. She was like, uh, she just couldn't. What you want me to do when I just That's leave it alone? Right. Okay. Act like nothing. It causes me too much pain. Uh, I got a girl that your man raped. It's crazy. Right? Yeah. And you going, and I tell you, and you like, you're going to still work with him. What you going to feel? So what you think I felt? Exactly. So I'm human, bro. Right. right. But that nigga raped my girl that he liked as well. Right? Right. And, and, and then went on a tour with him. It was there any dissension between like, you and Jay because yeah, of that? Of course. Not, he, they made a song together called Not Guilty. For Cut what? to 2000, right? Once we got cool with Homegirl, right. I knew it. Wait, now let me, let me stop right there. And just to give y'all some background so y'all know who's being spoken about in this video. So, at one point in time, Dame Dash hooked up with Aaliyah. R&B singer, may Aaliyah rest in peace. Aaliyah is the same female who R. Kelly discovered, who R. Kelly married when she was 15 years old. 
Fast forward. Now this is Dame Dash's girlfriend. Dame Dash and R. Kelly was around the same age. So which means if Dame Dash started dealing with Aaliyah, then you was kind of robbing the cradle, bro. Aaliyah was a young girl and you was a grown man. Okay, you fell in love with her and she told you, you know, allegedly that she was raped or she was abused by R. Kelly. So because now this is your girlfriend and Jay-Z is doing music with R. Kelly, now you catch feelings. Now you get mad at Jay-Z and want Jay-Z not to work with R. Kelly and you decide that now you and Jay-Z got beef because Jay-Z did a song with R. Kelly. Jay-Z was doing music with R. Kelly, the one who you say allegedly raped your girlfriend, Aaliyah. But truth be told, you were still too old to be dealing with Aaliyah yourself. And the other question that I have is that if Aaliyah was your girlfriend, that was somebody you decided to deal with, whatever or whomsoever she dealt with in the past, it has nothing to do with you for one. And for two, if you seek to take on issues or matters from somebody's relationship, that is your relationship. That don't have nothing to do with Jay-Z and him making money and him making music and him doing what it is that she do. See, that's where you messed up. You allowed your relationship with a female to get you to acting beside yourself, to get you to acting out of character. And you pointing a finger at R. Kelly for him dealing with Aaliyah when she was young, but you was dead wrong for dealing with her as well when she was young. You can't expect Jay-Z to support that. You can't expect Jay-Z to feel how you felt because he wasn't in an intimate relationship with Aaliyah. And he couldn't tell Aaliyah and R. Kelly what to do in their personal life and their personal circumstances. So... Now we finally get the truth, Lane Dash, I mean, Dane Dash, Mr. Bitter Baby Mother. Now we get the truth as to why you and Jay-Z split up. See, it didn't have nothing to do with Jay-Z didn't want to build the dynasty. Jay-Z didn't want the partnership or what have you. Is You got messy and you decided to put personal in the middle of a business relationship. If you have personal feelings towards R. Kelly, that's on you. But in the business of making music, R. Kelly was one of the hottest at that time. Y'all was one of the up and coming record labels at that time. So you shouldn't let your personal feelings interfere with business. And this is what you constantly and continuously do is that you get on these podcasts, you get on these uh, these radio stations and, and, and things of that nature, emotional, ranting and raving and acting like a bit of baby mother. Shout out to Brooklyn, though. Shout out to Jay-Z. Shout out to Mr. Sean Carter. But it's clear that now all of this is behind your feel, the feelings that you had for a female. And you allowed that to cloud your better judgment. And you destroyed the relationship between you and Jay-Z for no apparent reason. Destroyed the dynasty. All of those great artists that was on Rockefeller from the Camerons to the Dipsets to the Jewel Santana to the Memphis Bleak to the Broad Street Bully Beanie Siegel to the Freeway to the Chris and Neef to the Emil to the Jaguar right, all of these artists that was on Rockefeller, y'all could have had a, one of the biggest dynasties out there, but you let it all go down the drain and you threw it all away because you wanted Jay-Z to support you in regards to you feeling that R. Kelly raped Aaliyah. And you don't even know if that was true. You don't even know if that was true. Because if you go back to old interviews prior to that with Aaliyah and R. Kelly. None of that was present. He was just dealing with her at a young age. And the reason why they broke away is because people told her that was wrong. R. Kelly was too old to be dealing with her, that it would be classified as statutory rape. But they was in a relationship for some time and it was wrong. 
but it was also wrong for you to be in a relationship with Aaliyah because even she may have been her 19, 20, 21 or whatever, you were still already a grown man, Lane Dash. So yeah, this is the real reason that Jay-Z and Dame Dash broke up and it destroyed the rock, the, it destroyed the empire, what we known as Rockefeller. And because Jay-Z kept it play and Jay-Z kept it business, that's why Jay-Z became successful and you turned into a bitter baby mother. Man, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Let me know what y'all think of this situation because it's about time we put Dame Dash, Lane Dash on blast in terms of always trying to come at and attack Jay-Z or attack other people and their business decisions. But at the end of the day, you're not as financially sound as you try to make people think and believe because you got to sell your shares of Rockefeller music because you can't afford to pay the judgment that was entered in, into court against you. So you're not doing as good financially as you try to make people, you know, feel. That's just that ego, that pride, that emotional drama that got you and Jay-Z to end your business relationship. It's all on you, man. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Get this video out there. This one is ugly. This is spicy. But this is the real reason why Lame Dash and Jay-Z split and Rockefeller became no more. It's your boy Tyrone Hunter, the headhunter, signing off. I'm out of here like last year. You know what the truth is. It is.